ho ho and Merry Christmas! <laughs> I bring you some Christmas tidings here in April. So I, not crazy, I know that it's not actually Christmas, I know that it's been four months since Christmas. However, the day that I am uploading this is April 25th and if you guys saw on February 25th, which was exactly two months since Christmas, I uploaded a Christmas in February swap to keep the Christmas spirit going. Now that it's April and we're all dealing with some other crazy things right now in life, I thought, what better time than to celebrate the festive <laughs> festive spirit of Christmas than, once again, two months from that point again. So it's now been exactly four months since Christmas. I am counting down the days until we can finally have some normalcy again. I don't know about you guys, but for me this has been, um, I'm actually in week six of stay at home, shelter at home, whatever you want to call it, um, policies, you know, the whole self-isolation. And I only go out to go to the grocery store or I've gone also to the craft store. I'm not the craft store, but the Daiso store, which has some crafting things there. I did that once to get a couple items toward the beginning of our shelter at home policy. And then I've gone to Target now one time. So other than the grocery store and Target and then, oh, and then a couple of times I've gone out to get uh, to pick up for, um, for you know, not delivery, but pick up. That is, that is it. That is all I have done for going out of my home. So it's been a lot of crazy time. Um, at the beginning, we were all kind of like just stepping on each other a little bit. I think now that we're in week six of this, my family's getting a little bit better about not staying in the room as much, but my kids are definitely at that point where they are, they get very, very antsy. So there's been a couple of times where we just had to get in the car and just go for a drive because of that reason. I was just like, we don't have any place to go and we shouldn't really go out. I'm kind of nervous to go out for walks and whatnot, but we did just get in the car and just say, let's just go for a spin just to have some fresh air, some sunshine blowing at us, and the sunshine does not blow at you, the wind blows at you, but you guys get what I mean. But just some fresh air um, and just a change of pace because being at home constantly can get to you after a while. Um, but at any rate, today's all about Christmas and festivities. So I received a huge box, I think about a week ago now, and when it arrived, I actually thought this is just like Christmas because it's a huge, huge box. So hence the theming for this video. I'm going to be unboxing a couple of things from my friend, my very, very good friend, Christy at Christy's Corner. She and I have become such great buds through this entire experience. I don't want to use a friend, best friend. I feel like that term's used so much often. You hear that in life or on YouTube, but if there was that in life, then yes, she is that to me um, of my YouTube buddies. And we talk on a regular basis, just like every other day or so. And we're texting, we're messaging, we're on Instagram, whatever. We're in each other's lives that way. Although we've never actually met. So I'm hoping that after all this craziness, we do get the chance to meet in person because I'm looking forward to that. I would love to meet her in person and vice versa. Um, we share the same name. We share a lot of commonalities um, or similarities in our personalities, I guess. Um, at any rate, Chrissy has been good to me, has been good to me as usual. And she sent me a giant box, but this is not the only box that she has sent me. She actually sent me a huge box of clothing last year that I filmed but never aired on my channel. And she also um, sent me another huge box, I think at the end of both last year. So I have multiple boxes from Christy. I am gonna show, I think at least another one of those after this footage. So I'll be in a different outfit and look and it won't be Christmassy behind me, but I wanted it to be all a video where I show you the nice things that Christy has sent me. So let me show you guys this box. It's so heavy, I can't even lift it up, but oh my God, look at this thing. It can't even get in frame. This is the box that she sent me. This thing is so heavy and huge. And I know that this is primarily filled with clothes, I believe, but we'll see what's in here. Um, I do see the price tag. She spent a lot of money sending this to me. Thank you so much, Christy. You really didn't have to do that. I'm like, I'm, I'm so touched that she thought to send this to me, given the, the expense that's involved with sending boxes, and especially at this now, this time frame. I've actually had this box in my house for a while, so I feel comfortable holding it. Otherwise, I've been chucking boxes immediately. Um, but just, you can never be too careful. I've just, I've literally had this in my house, and I was like, I'll just keep it and make sure that whatever germs were on it will have evaporated by the time I film this. So let's get into this box. I'm gonna actually change the camera angle so you guys can see the beautiful way that she packed this. This is my box, this is crazy. Look at all this clothing that she thought to send me from her daughter. I mean, look at this, this is so cute. These are darling pants with butterflies. So this is a box of hand-me-downs and she has done this a couple of times because her daughter Presley is a couple years older than mine. 
when she outgrows certain clothing she just sends it my way and this is just so so nice i think these are so cute i can't wait to have my daughter wear these look at this adorable dress oh my goodness this is adorable etc etc and what's great about these boxes i haven't told chrissy this when you open it like all i smell is whatever detergent whatever laundry detergent that chrissy uses smells amazing there are some detergents out there that are just like too strong and whatnot like this just smells so fresh if, you, if, if the smell could come through the camera this smells so freshly cleaned and i know that she washed them and it's just like they're so so nice oh my gosh this is cute it says tootie cute dance tutu cute dance oh my gosh i can't even read tutu cute dance studio oh that's cute she grew up with the tutu this is adorable so yeah these are just the things that christy has thought to send my way these are adorable purple pants i wish these were in my size i would totally wear these and these are good for my daughter to wear so this is a size six and my daughter is currently in a size five so this is clothing that i have to wear my daughter is already wearing some of the items that christy has sent me so like when she grows into it, I'm like, great, you have pants again. Oh, look at these. These are cute. This is a size six. Oh my gosh, these are huge. These just keep on going. So this is a box full of stuff that Christy has sent me. In the last box, it had some Christmas stuff too, which was kind of cool. Oh, what's this? Oh, so these are just all clothing for a little girl to wear. And I just really am touched that Christy takes the time. This is nice. To send me these items you guys can see just how chock full this box is i mean it's i can't even like describe it to you because you guys have to see oh my gosh this is a nice material what is this, this is a bathing suit Ooh, this is a nice one okay this is a bathing suit but yeah there's just so much thought that she puts into these boxes and i really do appreciate it sparkle shimmer shine this looks like a nice like patriotic type of outfit that she could wear come the fourth of july yeah so i don't have to go shopping anymore christy's just gonna be my personal shopper and send me all these goodies right christy just kidding just kidding but this is cute these are shorts these are like fourth of july shorts so this is like a whole i outfit that she could wear she probably can't wear this come this fourth of july because i think this is a size six as well yeah this is going to be a little bit um this is five six i don't know maybe i'll try it on if it's if it's too big then she'll wear it next year but that's the one good thing about little girls is that you can hold on to this clothes a little bit longer this is a nice nice color nice material so there you go i'm making a mess out of this box because i never worked in retail in my life and i'm terrible at folding clothes but um yeah i am just enjoying the goodies sent in this box it's just one thing after another so many nice clothing that was sent my way via christy and i love that girl for it thank you so much christy thank you thank you thank you Ooh, sparkly pants love them isabel's gonna love those too so this is box number one and now i'm gonna go to oh, there's my pins on the floor i'm gonna go to the next part of this video thumbs up yay I just filmed another video but I'm just gonna keep the same outfit and go into this video because I have another box to get into there is a Harry Potter themed sticker on top so I'm wearing my Harry Potter esque shirt as well as the Harry Potter sign um, behind me the, the poster that I have up is a, uh, a Def Deathly Hallows sign I have no idea what's in here but I know it's from my friend Christy from Christy's Corner she and I have sent boxes back and forth and a ton of times and I have to say she spoiled me because I wasn't expecting her to send me two boxes. She actually sent me this box and then a giant box full of clothing for my daughter, which is full of hand-me-downs, which is really sweet. I mean, she took the time to spend $20 on this box, essentially. Let me show it to you. I did go ahead and open this just last night because she told me that it was clothing. So I was like, okay, let me go into it. And the very first thing that's on top are a nice pair of jeans, size six. So when my daughter is that size, she'll have two brand new pairs of jeans in here. I can see my little pony leggings, which is great because she's really into my little pony. Um, there's a fun frilly pink shirt. There's a whole bunch of things in here. This is like stock full of clothing. Uh, and one of the things that caught my attention, let me just take it out, um, right here. There's something blue and sparkly with sequins on there as well. But this one is like a Christmas themed shirt. I mean, how cute is that? I love the little stockings with the, with the little feet. So this is really cute. And had I seen this before Christmas, we could have worn this, um, but I didn't, so we will wait. That's okay. But at any rate, thank you, Christy, for sending me that box full of clothing. She's such a sweetheart. 
and then they have this one full of mystery items so that is what today's video is going to be is that unboxing okay so rather than have you guys see me struggle with this box off camera i just went ahead and opened it so very cute that she has this a little harry potter themed from stationery with the label yay okay so she did tell me that she was going to send me a Ursula item that she had received, um, I think in a giveaway. I'm not sure if I remember if that was where it was from. But it's an Ursula item and she knows that I'm a big Ursula fan, so yes. I have a new Funko Pop that I didn't already own and it says Summer Expo, Little Mermaid, 30 years. So this is from some Summer Expo. I'm not sure what this was released for, but it was definitely released last year because the Little Mermaid was celebrating its 30th anniversary. And this is awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh, Ursula is so fierce. She's got like a nice metallic um, finish to her face. There's little like squiggles around. Um, and then she has flotsam and jetsam in her arm. So this is the Funko Pop. <laughs> I love that she has both of them sitting nestled so securely. That is an awesome Funko. And I'm definitely gonna enjoy Adding this to my collection. If you guys saw my my Halloween videos that I posted, um, the blue balls an example. I had a huge like Ursula collection behind me because I'm a big Ursula collector. So this is gonna go greatly with that. Thank you, Christy, for sending it my way. Put that right next to my sorting hat. All right, the next thing that I see is a shirt. Um, I don't know if there's something in here. I think it's just a shirt. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, it's a two. It's two pieces. So this is probably something that she forgot to put in the other box. Um, it's a size six, awesome. So my daughter will definitely fit in this. And look at the cats and the dogs. This is so cute. And it's purple, my favorite color. I don't, one of my daughter's favorite colors as well. And this is the top. So this is awesome. These are nice warm PJs that my daughter can wear right now. So thank you, Christy. We're gonna put that right into use right away. The next thing I see is also some clothing. Ooh, what's this? This is a Stitch shirt. <laughs> That's cute. She's a big fan of Stitch, and I am very happy to take this from her and give it to my daughter because Stitch is awesome, and it also came with these pants. So I have two pajamas, basically, for my daughter to use immediately, plus Ursula. And let's go ahead and see the next item. Yes, 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 yes. She did tell me that she got me a pin. It's a Disney Villains pin with Ursula on it. It's all sparkly and glittery. I don't remember ever seeing this pin come out. Did this come out like the year before last? I have never seen this pin, this pin. But it does say D23, Little Mermaid Ursula Eels pin. Hmm. Hmm. This is cool. I've never seen this pin and I was at D23 and I'm trying to figure out where this was released. Maybe it was a box lunch release from D23. At any rate, I'm not hating it. Here you go. This is a sparkly Ursula pin right there and she looks so pretty. I love the glitter. I love her coiffed up hair. I love her eyes with the eyeshadow. This is such a nice pin and I am definitely going to put this in my pin board um, as part of my collection. And I didn't have either one of these items either that Funko or this pin. So thank you again, Christy, for sending them my way. And I have one last item in this box. <gasps> okay. And it's Figment and Epcot Center, and it looks like it's a Wonderground. Yeah, this is the Wonderground Gallery, Disney Parks Resort exclusive, and she knows I'm a big Figment fan, so yes. I love it. This is a fun Figment postcard with Epcot and everything. And because it has this little thing on here, this is definitely part of a Bibbidi Bobbidi box at some point and got re-gifted. So this is awesome. I will take it. Thank you very much for this fun postcard. And I love these little art prints. I might have to, I've been wanting to kind of revamp the art that's over my desk. So I might actually put this up in its place because the ones that I've had, they've had for two years and they're kind of stale. I mean, they're, they're fun, but you know how you get like bored of seeing the same thing after a while. I just want to refresh it a little bit and this would be a great way to do so. so so thank you christy i will definitely use this so love my box thank you so much and this is a box that my friend christy gave us um from christy's corner this is actually a recycled fab fit fun box she went ahead and sent me one of those I because love elsa. do you like it oh there's an elsa um card on here as well 
So Christy saw that I did a swap box not too long ago with my friend Tony from Finding Disney. Hi, Tony. And Tony actually sent me a Fab fin Fab Fit Fun box, and I really liked it. So Christy sent me her items in this box as well. Uh, and there is... I'm opening it up too prematurely. There is a card attached to the front here, so we are going to take that out first. And I don't know if the items inside are going to be um, channel friendly, they just might be hand-me-downs. But we'll just quickly look at that. That's part of the fun of opening things on camera is that you don't know what to expect. So let's go ahead and do that. So we just went ahead and grabbed the note that was taped to the front of the box. I did rip it a little bit though, so sorry Isabella. She's like, you broke it mommy. I'm like, I know. Okay, so actually it, we didn't we didn't break anything. So it's I thought it was, might be a note, but it's just the address that she wrote on a piece of paper. Yeah, but she did include this really cute um, Elsa sticker. So my daughter was really excited by that. So yay for Elsa! Woo! -hoo! It's not Daniel Tiger though. It's not Daniel Tiger. <laughs> okay, well this is a Disney Channel. No, I see a ton of clothing. Yay! So a lot of this I think is for you. Christy asked me what size Isabella wore because she does have a daughter who is six years old now, I think, right? Presley, and um, so she was sending me some hand-me-downs. So sweet that she went ahead and sent me this huge box in the mail. Pink pants! Oh, these are cute. These are exciting. You will definitely enjoy that. Let's see what else we have. I'm just gonna quickly go through some of the items. This is like a PJ. Oh, it's adorable. Oh, we're jumping down. So it's all clothing, but you can see how much clothes she sent me. Wow, Chrissy, you held on to this for a while. But there are three different rows of clothes, and we can't wait to go through all of this. Oh, I love it. Thank you so much for all happy. of this. Happy! Yeah, happy. Happy! And the green, and the green. green. Uh, what's this? Tank top. I yeah, very sporty. You can wear that this summer, too. Oh, I see one with, like, little glitter. I want to see what it says. It's purple, and it says... Hey, up, down. That is so cute. It says, Daddy is my superhero with a mask. Do you like that? Daddy is my superhero. Yeah. So she's going to be wearing this very soon. Thank you, Christy. That was so sweet. Yeah, I love this. Yeah, so we're really excited to go through this box a little bit further. And, and let's look at this one. This one is the blue. Uh, <laughs> it's a blue. Uh, it's a little big. It's a little big? Um, Ooh, it's a Hershey shirt. You don't know what this is yet. So this is the chocolate bar that you eat. See, when I was little, I went to Hershey's Park in Pennsylvania, and it was the greatest thing ever. Look, Hershey's milk chocolate, founded 1894. So, whoop, whoop, shout out to Hershey. There's actually a Disney YouTuber who lives not too far from Hershey Park. Tracy and Nikki, and hi. <laughs> so if we leave it up to Isabella, this entire video will just be her opening this box. We are going to go through it a little bit more later, but thank you again, Christy, for the hand-me-downs. That's so Look sweet. Really one. appreciate it. 